All right, today we've got the new Ford Ranger Raptor. We've got Samo about to hit some nice little ruts. You can't see them too well. The light's not the greatest, but I'm sure this will be a great little test for the new Raptor Ranger. Let's see how it flexes and let's see what the traction control works like. No, no locker. No locker. No locker, low range. Have you got it in a certain mode? Rock mode? Yep. So we do have a Hilux rugged, rugged X as well up here. We're going to be putting them through at the same time to see what it looks like. Good luck. <laughs> nah, you'll be right. So obviously a big difference is the uh, suspension in the Ranger Raptor. It's features a coil sprung rear end with a coil over shock. It's already spinning. It looks like it's whoa, big lift there. That's a huge wheel lift. So it does flex pretty well for a stock truck. Now, traction control is taking a little bit to to do its thing there. But as you can see, out of the box, that's a really capable package. Now let's see how it goes coming up this obstacle. But again, it doesn't look much, but you just saw that wheel lift. This is a pretty gnarly little little section. We'll just get Sam to turn around and we'll see how, how it is coming up. And two, coming back up the obstacle, Sam just drove down in the Ford Ranger Raptor. And this will be a big test for the traction control more than anything because it's really slippery sort of surface. Back ends off the ground already. A big old lift. But so far it's going really, really well. It's doing it easy. Even though it's on three wheels most of the time. Now those BFG all terrains are in fact a light truck tire as well, so they help this thing out no end. It's amazing what a good good set of tyres will do. That was easy. Walked it no problems. Let's see how the Toyota Hilux Rugged X goes. Will it do it as easy on highway tyres and with leaf springs in the rear? That's the question. Okay, so we're just about to take the Toyota Hilux Rugged X, which yeah, it's got, got a bit of bar work, snorkel, front bar, recovery points, but it still does have these rather pathetic stock tyres. So we'll see if this is a limitation. The same track we just put that base down. Let's I'll give it a go. The, I'll do the same thing. Yep. No locker to start with. We set the traction controls like, and I'll flick the locker back on coming up. Okay. Let's see how it flexes. So All right. Let's do it. Well, so far, I've been really impressed with the traction control on this Hilux model. It just seems to work incredibly quickly and incredibly well. So how's the flex on the rear end? Straighten up. Gee, that flexes pretty well for leaf springs. Big wheel lift. Now again, for stock suspension, that's really good. No dramas if you hit Mother Nature, you've got those lovely side steps. <laughs> All right, so that did it no problems. And again, we're gonna see how it performs coming back up the same obstacle. It must be said the Ranger Raptor did that no problems. Walk in the park. All right, coming back up now. As Sam mentioned before, we did uh, put the rear locker in for both vehicles to come up this, just to sort of really see how easy they will do it. It's just crawling up so far. Bit of slip in the front end. 
but still moving. And like I said, this is stock tyres, completely how you would purchase one out of the showroom. No dramas. Man, these new four-wheel drives are just so capable. Let's check in and see what Sam thinks about that. Thoughts? <laughs> Apart from the beeping, what are your thoughts? Man, this thing is impressive. Yeah. Um, I didn't have a the throttle at all. I'm not sure if that's like a wheelbase thing. It didn't drop into the ruts as hard as that one, maybe. But, it's certainly um, wider, the Raptor, anyway. Yeah, yeah, so maybe it was working a little bit harder, but um, both quite impressive. I mean, with that rear locker engage coming back up, you're just sort of leaning on the throttle and it just sort of walks up. Um, you'll notice that the traction control does turn off on the Hilux, but the Ranger doesn't, so it's probably an advantage for the Ranger. Yes, yeah, certainly I noticed the front end had a bit more slip in the Hilux, whereas the Raptor didn't budge, yeah, didn't yeah. move. Um, but I mean, both of them are super impressive, obviously. They're both actually designed to do this a bit more than your average, so that's, it. that's awesome, I reckon. They're insanely capable and comfortable and yeah, yeah. economical, all the things that our own vehicles aren't. Fit tyres to this? Yep. Pretty impressive. It's never going to have that same high speed go fast ability as the Raptor, but yep. uh, this Hilux is, is a good thing. I mean, he's putting up with a more lethargic driveline and motor and more dated drive, definitely. It's more ute like. But for a touring four wheel drive that does low range work, this is a good idea, mm. I reckon. Agreed. Yeah. Let's keep driving. Yeah, man. Bit out of breath, just ran up this hill and I'm terribly unfit. I got up here just in time to watch Ev drive this fairly challenging little climb. It's wet, it's fairly rutted, and a bit steep in spots, so it's going to be a good test. As you can see, this thing's spinning wheels plenty. That traction control is working hard. That's doing a really good job though. Steady throttle control. Up she goes. Test the old ramp over angle at the top. That's what sliders are made for. That was pretty good though. Still on pretty basic highway terrain tyres. These are aired down to 18 at the moment. What did you think of that, Ev? That's good. It goes really, really well. I think that's probably the harshest test for it because it was just so crossed up at the right yeah, points. It's yeah. Really slippery and wet. Uh, no diff lock on, it's just pure put it in D and low range. To low range and off you go. This doesn't um, have any mode really, does it? So it is just a case of sort of point and shoot. I've been mucking around a little bit with the eco and the power mode, um, because I find running it in eco makes the, the throttle a little bit less sensitive. Okay. Which is quite nice for yep. stuff like that where you just want consistent um, throttle RPMs input. Going yeah, through, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not too jerky. It did look like a nice controlled drive. Uh, a bit of wheel spin, but that's it's always not, gonna it's not happen. Down to the driver, that's for sure. <laughs> Very impressive. Uh, like I said, on stock tyres, I think with off-road, good all-terrain or mud-terrain tyre on this car, it's just incredible. Yeah, it, it would incredible. be pretty unstoppable, wouldn't it? And yeah. then you think about maybe a 50 mil lift or something like that for a bit more clearance. A bit more clearance. It did bottom out a little bit on the, 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 the bash plate top a bit, but yep. hey, that's why it's there. Yeah, for sure. And you know, that gives you a lot more confidence to drive the harder tracks like that. Absolutely. When you've got a bit of steel floating around, I noticed the sliders had a little kiss there as you came over, but that's exactly yeah. why they're there. But it, yeah, it worked. It was, you know, when you hit a sidestep, you feel it get hung up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is smooth. It's smooth. Strikes. Yeah, no yeah. times. I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed with this vehicle all around. Yeah, cool. Let's cool. see how the Raptor goes. Though. Yes, yes, I'm excited. Mm, all right. Let's get into the wombat holes now. See straight away. Front wheel spinning. Now it's crossed up. It's still doing it, but. I don't think anywhere near as gently as the Hilux did. And you can see Sam stopped. I think he may be putting the locker in. No. Wow. It really starts bouncing quite violently when, when it's looking for traction. in the front there. She's got a bit of articulation though. Now don't say we don't test these things off-road. 
that's, that Ranger Raptor is working really hard. A bit of a rub on the side steps there. Now they are quite strong side step, but they're still only bolt to the body. They're not a full slider. So let's check in with Sam. Let me in. Let me in. How'd you go, mate? It wasn't too bad. No deer flock then. Again. Yep. Uh, off road in the rock mode, which I thought would help with the, with the wheel spin again, and um, it did make a bit of a difference, I think. But definitely the traction control is not as good as the Hilux. But then it's got the tyres to sort of help make up for it to a degree. So it's a funny sort of comparison, I think. Without the locker engaged, I think the Hilux is more capable. But I reckon with the locker, this one probably is. But, All right. Uh, what do you reckon? Well, from watching, it's certainly not a. A proactive system it's very yeah, reactive it definitely. does need to think about it yeah. once as a think about it it tends to look all right yeah whereas the lux you just boom dump you can tell you it's can sort just... of like as it drops one side it go it sort of you can see it thinking it's sort of okay I'll, I'll break that wheel then you pop up and it goes to the other side and it has a second it needs a few seconds to yeah. sort of be like oh okay that one onto it and then the sort of so you lose momentum quite easily and then the wheels spin and these things throw mud a bit more it does they, they grip yeah. And I noticed the bounces a fair bit too when it's looking yeah, for traction. Yeah, yeah it's which, you know, that's bit. that's how you break CVs in my world. Yeah, loading up the drive line. Yeah, but I don't know if that's down to the tyres having a bit more grip or if it's just a, the suspension design. But yeah. it's definitely something worth noting and something that I've seen. Yeah, I think so. Well, let's keep uh, let's keep exploring and yeah, see. Yeah, still going. I think there's a pretty cool lookout up here, so you can check it out. Nice one.